setting the aux cards range switch, the audio oscillator now becomes a low frequency modulation oscillator. Both audio and modulation oscillators are digital. Audio only comes out of the audio jack and control voltage or low frequency oscillation only comes out of the CV jack. I love demonstrating the effects of low frequency oscillation on pitch. That way I can hear the different wave shapes. I'm going to use the uh, complex oscillator. Come out of the blue CV out of the aux card. It's set to sine wave. Come into pitch of the complex oscillator and we can hear the pitch shift. <laughs> And of course we can raise the pitch of the mod oscillator and get almost some uh, frequency modulation here. What's cool about the mod oscillator is that by going into its frequency in and taking its attenuverter all the way negative, we can get slow uh, waves where there's maybe, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes between clicks. I've test driven it using minimal settings and got a three minute rise. Let's take a listen here. Taking the output of the preset voltage source and going into frequency. Voltage source is at zero, now taking it up to five, five volts. And you'll note the frequency knob I have is at 11 o'clock. Imagine taking that down to zero or like around seven o'clock. Yesterday I tried that, seven o'clock, five volts, and it was a three minute rise up on a square wave. So I'm guessing 10 is going to take it much, much longer. And here's a little parting tip. Like the audio oscillator, of course, you can drive the modulation oscillator via control voltage, sequencer, or pressure. So what we have here, just listening to the audio os uh, to the modulation oscillator, affecting the audio oscillator of the complex easel oscillator. If I flip into sequencer mode and then adjust the attenuverter, we get some fun. And of course, we can use the sequencer now to change the wave shape of the modulation oscillator. And of course, where you set the attenuverter gives you all sorts of different sounds. Have fun.